Welcome to Bill's Kitchen. Today we're going to be making my world famous cheapy cheapy spaghetti sauce. Stay tuned. Welcome to Uncle Bill's Kitchen, where we're going to make the best spaghetti sauce in the world. Now I know that using pre-made spaghetti sauce is not that common. However, for simplicity's sake, time's sake, and being able to produce a great flavor, using something that somebody else has started is always a good idea. So we're gonna add about a tablespoon of oil into the pan and get it heated up. Then we're gonna add our onions to the mix. That's one medium onion chopped up nicely. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna stir this around, make it look nice and beautiful, get all that oil nicely covering the onions. What we wanna see is we wanna see some translucence, almost as if opaqueness is happening to the onions. Now, a tablespoon of garlic. If you add a little more or a little less, it's up to your liking. I like garlic, so I added a tablespoon. Stir it around, and when it becomes fragrant, you can stop. Now I like to add some Italian seasoning to my mix, about a half teaspoon. And what this is going to do is it's going to help release the oils in the flowers and kind of bring that flavor back to life. Some garlic powder, of course. I love garlic. It tastes so good. Some onion powder. About a half teaspoon added into there. A little more, a little less, don't worry. It all tastes good. Now we're gonna add our Italian sausage and our ground beef. This is the heart of what your sauce is going to be because it's going to infuse the sauce with that wonderful meat flavor. I love ground beef. And I love Italian sausage. How can you go wrong? Put them both in there. About a pound each. Now what I'm doing here is stirring up and separating the meat. You don't want big clumps of meat in your sauce because we're not making a meatball sauce. We're making a meat sauce. So you have to keep an eye on this. Let it cook. As it browns, go back in there and stir it up again. And then you let it cook a little more. Then you're gonna stir it up some more. Remember, you don't want these to become clumps. You want it to be ground up and mixed well together. So make sure to keep an eye on it. No watching the football game or stepping out. You gotta stay by your pot and make sure that that meat is nice and mixed in with the onions and garlic and all that wonderful seasoning. You're gonna start seeing the oil come out of the meat. That's fine, we got a place for that. Just remember, don't pour it down your sink drain. It starts to dry up and if you look in this bowl, you'll see what happens to it. Pour it into a disposable bowl or some bowl you don't care about and then let it dry, cool off, and dispose of it. Now, let's get to the mushrooms. Oh yeah. Two eight ounce packages of cut up mushrooms. Cut them up a little thick like you see here so that you'll make sure to have a nice bite. Add a little pinch of salt, just a pinch, not too much. Remember, there's already some seasoning in that sauce. I'm gonna add some black pepper, freshly ground of course just the way mom used to make. Mmm, mmm. Look and smell. Oh, so good. Now we're gonna wanna render these mushrooms a little bit. So we're gonna let them cook in with the meat and let those juices infuse with the mushrooms and the mushroom juice come out into the sauce. It's another flavor. Fresh mushroom prego. Oh yeah, look at that sauce and meat flavored prego. Now I always use two different types, always one meat and one vegetable. You 
makes a big difference in the flavor and really brings out the seasonings that you've already added to the meat sauce. Don't leave any of that left over. Add a little water into the jar, swirl it around and get all that sauce. Mix together well and let it heat up. Now I added some sausages to my mix. You don't have to. I like full pieces of sausage so I can have a nice little bite along with it. Mmm, -mm. tastes good. Once you've got it mixed and you start seeing it start to simmer, get ready. You're not going anywhere. This is a stir, stir, stir sauce. You don't want to burn it. You don't want to get it stuck to the bottom of your pan. Just stick around. It only takes about 30 minutes. Give it a nice little mix and keep an eye on it. When it starts to bubble a little bit too much, add a lid and make sure to come back every once in a while to give it a little checky checky. Oh yeah, it looks like it's ready. Ready to stir again. Let's get in there. Stir, stir, stir. Add the lid back on. We're going to reduce this about 20%. What that's going to do is it's going to get rid of some of that water and it's going to really bring out the flavor in the sauce. Don't forget to stir. We've been cooking for about 15 minutes now. As you can see, the sauce is starting to render down. Look at the side of the pot and you can see how much has come down. Turn the heat down a little bit. I got it down to about three, three and a half. Again, you're gonna to wanna to keep an eye on this. You don't wanna burn your sauce. There's nothing worse than burnt pieces in your sauce. Now here we are, 25 minutes. It's bubbling over, spitting out all over the place. Oh my, I need to turn the heat down. Let's get this down to low, shall we? Oh yeah, that's better. Oh, this sauce is looking good. I can't wait. This is about when the wife comes home. She smells the spaghetti sauce and knows it's going to be a special night. Oh boy. Sauce is looking good. Let's go and put it on low on a side burner while we get the noodles ready. I like to add a little bit of oil and a little bit of salt to my water. The oil helps keep the noodles from sticking to each other and the salt well, to be honest with you, I always see them do it on TV, but it's supposed to add a little bit of flavor as well. Bring it to a high boil, grab yourself some noodles and pop them in there. I like to use full size noodles, but you can break these in half if you don't want to deal with the longer noodles. I like them all the way they come. Give them a nice mix. Keep an eye on that water. Don't let it boil over. And don't forget, stir, stir, stir. Now the reason that we keep stirring is we don't want those noodles to stick to the bottom of the pot, nor do we want them to stick together. And it also helps us keep an eye on them to make sure they stay nice and the way we want them. If you get some bubbles coming up like this, just take a wooden spatula, put it across your pot, and it'll help keep those bubbles down. Make sure not to keep your heat too high either. You always can turn it down. Now you wanna pull your noodles out after about eight to 10 minutes. And when they look a little bit white, less yellow than white anyway, I prefer to pull them when they're al dente and then cook them in the sauce. My wife likes them fully cooked with the sauce added on top. So guess what we're doing tonight? That's right. I always do what my wife says. She's a wonderful woman. Make sure to pour the water out into the strainer 
And when you've got your noodles, take a ladle. I like to take two. Put them over those nice noodles and get ready to eat. I like to add some Romano cheese to my noodles. Just a little bit. Can't go wrong. Oh yeah, take a look at that. Bet you can't wait to make this sauce now. 